let me show you how to customize page the first step is look at the button customize page step 2 is look at the block step 3 is select the page that you want to add in your course okay let's start to customize page for the first time so please log in to a new e-learning new version e-learning 20.nu.ac.th and then write your ID and password and log in so you got the page like this that is request course user manual instructor manual and contact look at in the side panel there is home there is, dash, there is dashboard there is calendar private fail, files and course if you already have course so click on the dashboard see on the first step is see the button customize this page because we will add in page in our website step two is step two after you click customize page button you will see the button at block and then you click the bet the button at block in here and then step three is select the page that you will add in in your page so this is the list you can choose the page that you want to add in for example I will add HTML button just click and then will be appear in your page look at in the in the right side on your page there is new HTML block my suggestion is choose the calendar and then online users and then upcoming events and activity result why I will tell you the usually that I use in the page of course look at in the course if you have course you can click yeah. online user is very important to monitoring the participant who, who online in your course and then activity result is used for get result of your activity lesson or quiz will be appear in here after the participant or students doing activity lesson or quiz and then third is upcoming events upcoming events is important to show 
the schedule of lesson or quiz will be open and closed. So give information to the participant and the students to know what time or what date the quiz or the lesson will be open. And another, you can add more. But for me, the most important is online users, activity result, and upcoming events. Now, let me show you how to remove the block that you think is not useful and you want to remove from your page course. So, go to your course. And then select the block that you think you want to remove. For example, I will choose uh, comment. I don't want to put the comment in here. So click the button configure comments block and Delete, delete comment block. Are you sure that you want to delete this block title comment? And then click yes. Let's check. So the block comment already removed from your page so you can do for other block in here so let's make it customized page by yourself if you have any question or problem please write in the comment below thank you and success for you